Why do I hunt? That is a very deep question. And that's uh, part of the spirituality of, I think, who people are. To me, it's the purpose of life. You know, outside of family, obviously, and the love you have for family, there's got to be something that drives you. And uh, for us, it is that drive to be out there hunting. As you evolve and you learn more about uh, whitetail management particularly, you, you start to change your attitude immensely because it's not so much about the rack that's on their head, even though we all want to kill a big deer. Uh, it's more about the age structure and trying to manage a deer herd and be a conservationist. For me, growing up, hunting was about being with my dad. You know, it was about spending time in the woods. It was about uh, getting to create these memories. As I grew older, there was several years there that I didn't hunt at all when I was in college and just kind of exploring new things. To kind of reconnect with hunting, it, it was a whole new experience. To be able to get out and get out in the woods and disconnect from everything, like those times are priceless. In the first few years there, Dad and I got to hunt a lot together. So it was about reconnecting with him as much as anything. Hunting to me is, I feel like a family bond. I've done it ever since I was a young girl. Ever since I can remember, my first memories were going hunting or being outdoors with my dad. And now as I get older, I think that I've learned that it's more of a connection with nature and with my food. So it means the world to me to be able to sit down and know exactly where my meat came from. So it started out as this is my morals, this is who I'm going to be, and now I know the exact reason of why I hunt. All of a sudden it wasn't brother and brother, it was now that I got to teach somebody in that it was Taylor. I took her hunting uh, the first time when she was six and then it was, it was interesting to watch her evolve into the young lady she's become now and it's been such a rewarding part of my life to be there and watch her evolve into the huntress that she is these days. It's a big difference. It's one thing hunting with your brother, the guy that you always look up to as your hero, and then you're looking at your little child going, man, I hope someday that she has the passion that I do. And then when you see it in her, when you feel her shaking when that turkey comes strutting down that road, you go, thank the good Lord, she has my passion. It's so much fun watching these two, Matt and Taylor, evolve as hunters and uh, harvesting big deer, deer that we hadn't killed until we were much later in life. So it's just a, a real, real delight, real pleasure, you know, and from a family aspect, it doesn't get much better. Being able to watch them grow up and, and harvest big deer is just as good as it gets. It's so much effort, it's so much work. I think about it nonstop. I look at my pictures on my cameras nonstop and that moment when something actually steps out that you're gonna shoot, because you know, if you're looking for a four-year-old deer or older, it's, it's not behind every rock and tree like it may look like on TV. It takes so much time and energy and time away from your family. So when it happens, like there's some energy and some nerves and, and, and emotions that hit you that you cannot prepare for until it happens. So now my dad and Uncle Terry, they've been doing it for a long time and they're starting to patch the torch a little bit. They'll never officially pass it, but I feel, you know, especially Matt and I's job, we have a huge role. You know, we've been given this platform and we have to use it positively and we have to make sure that we do it in the way that would make, you know, my dad, my Uncle Terry and everybody else proud. So. I feel like our main job now is to continue to pass that positive message on to the younger generation and teach them so that they can grow up with the same mindset as I have and they're proud and they want to beat those stereotypes. They want to be a hunter and gather and they don't mind the criticism that might come from the outside and bring up the negatives about hunting because at the end of the day they know deep down in their heart that hunting benefits so many people in so many great ways. The passion is the fear of not being able to hunt. You know, when you get into later in life, certainly the second half, and you start fearing how many more of these days do I have, and you start to cherish the moment a little bit more, 
I mean, I, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do if I can't go afield and hunt. We may sit 30 days in a row. We may sit 45 days in a row. We may sit 50 days in a row until we get one opportunity. It's one chance, one opportunity, and everything that we put into it stacked up to that moment in time. And that's where it comes from. And we feel as though that's the passion inside. It's that chess match. And it's, it's learning every single day. We've never stopped learning when it comes to whitetails. And we just enjoy it immensely. We'll continue until the day we die hunting deer, regardless whether we're filming or not.